paano ko ba ito sisimulan? Um, last week, yung Acer ko na 27 inch Full HD IPS is parang sira ulo. Bigla na lang siyang nag-flicker flicker. Before, I've noticed na may crop na sa baba and then may mga rainbow pixels na kung saan saan. And then yun, parang last week, eh, nag-surrender na siya. Malaki na yung flicker and then blah 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 blah. So yun na yun. So today, we're gonna unbox and review. Well, hindi naman review kasi kakabukas ko lang or kakagamit ko lang. But maybe review... No, not review. Unbox and my first impression of the AOC UP... Teka lang. Teka lang. Ano ba yung ano? Ano ba yung model type ng ano? Ano ano ka ba G Flow hindi ka pa handa tapos nagsu-shoot shoot ka. Ayo seat U28P2U. We're gonna unbox and I'm gonna share my first impression on that monitor right there. But before we proceed, a quick disclaimer, I bought this with my own money. So wala na tong mga brought you by whatever brand is that. But thinking to Cebu which kung saan ako bumili was was kind enough that nagbigay sila ng freebies which is a shirt a an AOC shirt well baliktad jersey ito ayan and one gaming mouse pad which is the AOC GM200 this one right here this one is really really good nasa Lazada to mga 2000 pesos din to now yung dalawang yon hindi ko magagamit number one cuz ang shirt hindi kasya sa akin cuz i'm too buff Kumbaga. And then number two, hindi ako gamer so I'm not gonna use the the gaming mouse. I'm not gonna give it away in this video pero pag aabot tayo ng 2,000 subscribers, ipapag-giveaway ko yon together with a couple of items na din for 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you're not subscribed yet, mag-subscribe ka and maybe soon I will just announce the mechanics kung paano nyo mapapalunan no? pa -ma -ma -pa -pa lunan tong lahat ng to. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get right into the unboxing. Unboxing na medyo mabilisan lang talaga and unboxing in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Okay, so eto po yung laman ng box. You have here the power cable. Power cable, an HDMI port over here. I'm not gonna open this kasi meron na akong mahaba na HDMI doon. And then you have the manuals, the CDs, and whatnot over here. You have the first part of the stand, which is sabi nila ergonomic na ergonomic na to kasi you can adjust the height, tilt, pan, swivel, and whatnot. So this is the stand itself. And last but not the least, you have the base of the stand. Well, hindi po na last but not the least, yung monitor pala. And this is the monitor right now. Here. I'm just gonna assemble everything up and then we're gonna talk about the main features of the AOC U... Malilimutan ko talaga. The U28P2U. So tapos na tayo mag-unboxing. Well, kanina pa obviously kasi andyan na yung monitor. So we're, right now, we're gonna talk about the main features of this monitor. The AOC U228P2U. U2, U28 P Makakalimutan ko talaga eh. The U28 P2U There you go So number one It is a 4K resolution monitor Which is just future proofing You know 28 inch in size IPS panel Ano pa ba? 60 hertz lang siya So if you are not a gamer This is probably fine or okay for you Ako okay na okay na to sa akin And my favorite part is yung colors nito is 119 yata has 119 sRGB majority of the monitors out there is just less than 100 but this one right here is very color accurate na 119 119 yung sRGB niya this monitor right here out of the box is already color calibrated pero we're not sure or I'm not really sure because this is the first time na nakakuha ako ng ganitong klaseng monitor but I think I'm gonna color calibrate it soon para naman mas mas extra special yung gagawa natin. Next main feature as well, meron po tong HDR mode. They say din sa box and papers na this is a 10-bit monitor, pero it is just an 8-bit plus FRC. So that's why they called it 10-bit. Next, meron siyang picture-by-picture picture na feature, meaning you could have two displays side-by-side in one monitor and meron ding picture in picture feature, meaning pwede mong masapaw-sapaw yung dalawang display. You have a small one here and a bigger one on the main screen. So for the build quality naman, what I love about this monitor is the design. It is very sleek, social, kumbaga, very classy, and the stand, the stand talaga just, it's just cherry on top because again I've mentioned kanina na hindi ako gumagamit ng stand sa monitor pero this one has an exemption big time kasi sobrang ergonomic yung design ng stand niya you could just play around with it in whatever position na gusto nyo the ports 
are very, very useful sa likod. Parang may built-in ka na na USB hub. Meron kang 4 USB a USB A 3.2 Gen USB A and one of those ports is a fast charging port. So that's a good thing. Plus, meron din siyang USB Type B. You have two HDMI ports and one Display full size port. My headphone jack din siya sa likod and the power port. That is it for the main features and build quality of this AOC U28 P2U. Oh, hindi na ako nakamale. Hindi na talaga ako nakamale. So now, tapos na ako magkulikot-kulikot dyan sa monitor na yan for, for a while. Right after unboxing, kinulikot ko na yan. I tested out all the colors and whatnot. Tried editing, watching 4K videos. And now for my verdict or my conclusion. Sobrang, sobrang sulid. Sulid? Supposedly, I was to say sulid pero solid. Solid ng monitor na to. Number one. At 17,000 to 18,000 siguro. I'm not mistaken. Yon sa Lazada, meron din sila. Is you are just getting a lot. And you can compare it to the Pro Art series of the ASUS, yung mga 27-inch ng ha, na medyo 2K and 4K, kasi yung top of the line na Pro Art series is for sure walang 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 match. Though. Number two, again, the colors are very, 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 very vibrant. Okay na okay to siya if you are into color grading content creation. Kung ayaw nyo mapalpak yung mga kulay nyo when you watch to your phone or to your monitor, gusto nyo parehas, this will really work. And also, this monitor brings the sharpest image. Like, by far, I've tried a Samsung 4K before, ah, pero this one is just, just differently sharp. Basta, okay na okay tong AOC na to. And I would recommend this big time to you guys especially if you are on a budget and you want to experience a starter or a beginner somewhat beginner siguro on introducing yourself to 4k monitors plus the srgb plus the color accuracy this is just the way to go so i think that's it for today's episode if you like this one kung nagustuhan you to never forget to subscribe like and share god bless stay safe peace